Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one. Tony Gonsolin. Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now and towing the slab, Tony Gonsolin. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Here's Tim Anderson. High in the air, out to right. Hayward under it. And there's one away. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Line of the pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Peralta makes the grab on the run. Hey, man, four that pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Please. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. And the pitch. They say it went. One ball, two straight. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Peralta has a beat on it. And that's the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And today's starting pitcher, Lance Lynn. Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup move. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. 
also get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he has got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. and misses it's a strikeout here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit one down base is empty swing and a ball hit out towards left center field Robert pulls it in on the run time to check out the Dodgers lineup the sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today Chris yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the field. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. We played an inning. No score. Back here in L.A., second inning, set to go. Andrew Vaughn now. Andrew, 1-1 one, one now. And a foul ball. Swings through him for the K. Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now Yohan Moncada. Line drive and foul ball. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And it's a one-out double for the first hit of the game. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. No score here in the second. That misses the zone. Now two and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. They tried to get him to chase on a slider okay. down and away. Here comes a pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. Man on second, two down. That's and that's outside. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Moncada on at second with two down. Fastball in for a strike. And out to a two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at Dodger Stadium, here's Jason Hayward. Lance Lynn, former first-round pick by the Cardinals. He went to Old Miss and was drafted in 2008. And, of course, 
When he was a rookie in 2011, he helped the Cardinals win a World Series. No, that one outside. The countdown two and two. Broke into the big leagues playing for manager Tony La Russa and Lynn just an absolute workhorse on the mound. You know, only four pitchers threw more innings from 2019 to 2021, and he's thrown 200 plus innings several times. That's the type of pitcher every team wants, Boo. And Martinez started to swing, held up. And JD gets a piece now, two and two. Kicks and fires. That's Three inside. Out there to center. That one gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Ground ball right side. And that one finds its way through. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. Next to hit, Miguel Vargas. Next offering is foul back. Two on, one out. Fights that one away, still one and two. One out, runners at first and second. The next oh, offering misses, oh. and it's two and two. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The 2 2. And another ball. James Outman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Next pitch is popped up. So first and second with two outs. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder James Outman. On the ground, right side. Gonzalez. They get the force. Out number three. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Gavin Sheets. The right fielder, number 32. Gavin Sheets. Swings over the splitter for strike three. Just beautiful placement of the splitter right there. Exactly where you want it with two strikes to get that swing and miss. And he's worked very hard to be able to command that pitch. It's a tough pitch to get a grip on, but he's one of the best at throwing it where he wants to. Got him. And there's two away. So the lineup flips over. And next to hit for the Sox, Tim Anderson. 0 for 1 with a fly out. This one in the air right field. Hayward in position. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. Down in order go the White Sox. Still no score. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Chris Taylor now. Now all even up. Outside. Careful. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh, 
Payoff pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And now it's Mookie Betts. Struck out swinging, leading off the bottom of the first. 2 2 on the way. Got him swinging. The first baseman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And the right hander deals. And that's in for a strike. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. And we're still... Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris side. Singleton. And the set to lead off the fourth, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi. Next one is off the plate. And now three and one. Ben Intendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and deals. This one popped up. Bet settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. And now it's Luis now Robert. He's 0 for 1. Luis Robert. Pitch misses. Oh. Two and one. Two one straight. Lifted in the air, right center field. Outman moving to his left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's two down. Up next to Chicago. The first base Andrew Vaughn Andrew steps Andrew. to the plate for the White Sox. He was a strikeout victim his first time. They say it went. One ball. Two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Next pitch is popped up. And they get the out on Smith. And there's one down. Now it's the right fielder, Jason Hayward. High fly ball lifted in the air, right field. Snags it for the second out. Now that the designated hitter, JD Martinez, stands in. Martinez. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Dodgers down in order. Through four. Still tied. Zip, zip. Back here in L.A. Here is Yoan Moncada. Yoan Moncada. And strike two. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Out to short. Sends it across the first. One away here in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job now of keeping the ball the out of the game. air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Right-hander kicks deals. That's towards center. Outman gets under it and makes the grab. Two away down. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Here's a 1 1. 
Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One, two, three, go to White Sox. Halfway through this one, still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. David Peralta at the plate. No left fielder. Next offering misses and a count two and one. In the air out towards right center. Sheets sizes this one up, squeezes it, one up, one down. Now back, second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. He popped out his first time. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Robert moves under it. Two away. James Outman digs in now. He's all for one. On the ground. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. He was all over that one. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Two outs, runner at first. And now it's going to be Chris Taylor. 0 for 1 so far. Popped in the air. Left field. Benintendi is there. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. Now this is in the air down the line. Hayward drifts towards it. Makes the grab one down. Romy Gonzalez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Lined into left center. Base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Safely into second. He's got a double. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Tim Anderson, the next to hit. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a miss struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And a 3-1 on the way. Swing and a miss as he was late. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That one lifted to left. Peralta puts it away, and that is that. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. And we still have no score. Back here at Dodger Stadium, stepping in the long ball threat, Mookie Betts. And the righty deals. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. 
The 3-1. There's a strike. Three and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, we've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Left-hand batter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two two. And he deals. That one just misses. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with the base runner. Could become dangerous. The pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's going to be Luis Robert. Luis Robert. That one drifts inside. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And that's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Go ahead, run on base. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying close. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Shelby Miller. Here is Moncada, one for two. Right-handed reliever, Robert on the go. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Swing and a miss. Robertson. And a count one and two. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Nick Robertson getting loose out there. Garcia warming up as well. At the belt and fires. And a ball evens the count. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. White Sox going with a new arm, Gregory Santos. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. 
And a 2-1 hammered but foul. The pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Ben Intendi ranging after it. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Miguel Vargas getting ready to hit. Two outs. Swings and misses. One and two. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Keenan Middleton is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Crochet, a left-hander. Also, well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. We're at the top of the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Yasmani Grandal. And the pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Here's a 1 2. Got him! And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Now it's the second baseman, Romy Gonzalez. And downstairs. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one. On to Freddie. Double play. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Welcome back. Leading off, James Outman. The pitch. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Action in the pen down there. Aaron Bummer preparing to come on if needed. The 3-1. Three 3-1, one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. But he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a pitch. Oh. Two balls, one straight. Hit in the air, right field. Sheets under it, makes the grab, one away. Up next to the top. Here's Mookie now. Pickoff throw, Outman dives back in safely. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Over to Anderson on the ball. Two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the... We go to the ninth. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim Anderson. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Left hand hitter waits. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Hayward makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. The throw is wild and it gets away. 
Luis Robert now. The center fielder. Luis Throw over to first. Anderson dives back. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Anderson runs. And ball four to a board. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. So first and second with two outs. Yoan Moncada steps to the plate for the White Sox. And now two and one. Anderson over at second. Robert at first. Two out of the inning. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Two two now. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear down, and he did just that. Nice job of getting out of the jam and out of the inning. Back here at Chavez Ravine, bottom nine. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. And now two balls and a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The batter now will be Will Smith. Swing and a miss, and that is strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Got him swinging. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. One, two now. Two balls. Two straight. That's out to center field. Robert on the move. Snags it on the run. And that'll do it. Back here in L.A., now it's the D.H., Jake Berger. Man at second. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Vesia getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Righty to the plate. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw quickly into third. They're at the corners now to start the inning. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical. You want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Clips the outside corner. It's two and two. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Next one just misses. 
And the count's full. Gavin Sheets in the on-deck circle. Got him. Now one away. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Romy Gonzalez steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for three. And here it comes. In the air, left field, Peralta going back on this one. He's got it, and that is out number three. So they strand a pair onto the bottom of inning number 10, and we still have... Back here at the ballpark, and now the DH, J.D. Martinez. The winning run on second base. Left field. And Martinez is out. One away. Making a move at second base. On the pinch run for the Dodgers. Johnny DeLuca. He's the potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. The pitch. And that one is inside. Bullpen activity starting up now. Keenan Middleton up and loosening in the pen. Crochet getting loose as well. And there's Paul Ford. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Vargas. And the next pitch is way outside. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next pitch is outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. And boy, that was the pitch. Three one. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And the pitch. He goes down looking. I don't know what he's looking for right there. You have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. That's a little bit low. Winning run and scoring position with two away. And it's fouled away. Two two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two left on. We push on to the 11th. And we still. So coming into the game now on defense, Johnny Deluc. We're in extras here. Here's the shortstop at the play, Tim Anderson. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. 2-1. and one. That one the other way, and it stays fair. 
Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score on the board first. It's one zip. What a way to get it going. A double to not comb the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places. And now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Andrew Benintendi now at the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Nice grab on the run. One down. And now the center fielder, Luis Robert. A swing and a miss. Again, a throw to second. So up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. Two outs and one in scoring position. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. Sox get one on the RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Chris Taylor. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 2-2. Next offering misses down and away. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Around third, he'll score. And the Dodger is even it up. It's 1-1. One, one. So that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up. Gets in the scoring position now. There are several ways that they can get this run across. New pitcher now, Garrett Crochet. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Kicks and fires. And that one pulled foul. And he deals. Straighten him up a little bit. Winning run on second. No one out. Back foot slider struck him out. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. The 1-1. One -one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Here's a 2-1. That one pulled foul. Kicks and deals. 
That's see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Will Smith up next for the Dodgers. Out to short, Anderson. The throw to first, and Freeman is retired. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. Intentional walk here with two out. They set up a force at any base to end the inning. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. And now Johnny DeLuca. Winning run stands at second. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. And it's filled up. J.D. Martinez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And now the lefty knocks that one away and will do it again. Three two on the way got him good job at damage control right there two men left stranded but they do push across one 11 innings in the books now all tied 1 1 so the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound and now it's switch hitting third baseman Yoan Moncada runner leads away at second in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Robertson up and throwing. And a pitch. And it's even up. At the belt and fires. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Outman under it. And there's one away. Here's the White Sox DH, Jake Berger. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. That one fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. In the air to left center. Outman racing in. In some more. Long run. Nice grab. And there's two down. Now it's the White Sox catcher. Yasmani Grandal. A strikeout and a walk. He gets the attention to walk here. And now a force at any base with two gone. Now it's the right fielder, Gavin Sheets. That's in there. That is strike two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. White Sox strand a couple. Score remains tied 1 1. Back here at extras and a new pitcher on the mound in the bottom half of the inning. And now JD Martinez. Bomber deals. Good eye right there. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Joe Kelly, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. fly ball down the left field line this one's got a chance 
And an automatic double as it hops the fence. And the Dodgers win it in 12. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. I swear I'm like 1,000 out. Rising to the top. What you know about me now? I run it. Now move because I'm about to go. At your final score here today, 2-1. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Two runs on five hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the White Sox, one run, four hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. Time for the ball game. Four hours and 17 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance. A selling. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.